Brandon and I are once again feeding the buffalo. Yay! Yay. <laughs> they like us. Look, they're just yeah, waiting they for do. us to feed them. You better not be fighting anymore. Yeah, I know. They were running at each other. Yeah, tell them, Brandon. And there's a whole bunch of grass on the ground. So, we're feeding. Yay! Getting into it over here. You gotta put it in the ball. Mm. And then you throw it. Look, that guy thought I was coming over here. Maybe I'll give it to you. Yay! Yeah. Oh, this guy heard. Now oh, they're leaving him alone. Good. Oh, no. He's oh, going. Oh, no. There he goes. <laughs> He's gonna be a bully. Oh. You guys need to chill, bro. Yeah, it's not What's wrong with y'all? There's all the grass. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! You guys like that? Look, it's on his head. <laughs> y'all stop being mean. See if we've got him conditioned. Yeah, Brandon's gonna stretch real quick and see if they uh, think that there's any food. <laughs> This guy over here, he knows what's up. No, y'all don't fall for it? Yeah, I saw him looking at you. Look, there's some grass up there on the pole. Oh, look, he's coming. He knows you. Literally, the two in the back are on their way. He really looked down when you did that. Is that not enough for you? You being ungrateful. Why are they so cute? Somebody please tell me. Like, why do I want to just, oh, I just want to squeeze you. Which one's the mean one, Brandon? It's that one with the, the, one, yeah. the hair falling off, huh? He's mean, and we named him, what's his name? <laughs> the Godfather? I'm here, and I'm about to paint. Sorry, I was admiring these paintings up here. They're so cute. Um, I'm hoping that we can fill up all the brown wall space with paintings. We'll see how that works out, how it goes. Maybe even the ceiling. Like, look at that. Look at how much space is up there. I could do anything with that. I could put it like a tapestry up there, but I want to create all the art in here. That sounds like more fun and also relaxing. So that's the vibe I'm going for today. And wow, wow. One day they're just going to be everywhere. Wait, subscribe. One day you'll get a tour of this and it'll not even look like a travel trailer. It's just gonna look like a cool studio apartment one day. But um, I had to show you Brandon's painting that he was painting the other night. It was so cute to me. Look at it. It looks like it's in a frame, but he really just painted black around the outside. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I couldn't do that even if I wanted to. And that's the cool thing about painting is like, your painting is unique to you. Like nobody else can recreate that. It doesn't matter how good the artist is. They can't do the same strokes you did. Facts. But um, this is what mine is looking like. Some light poles and some trees and shrubs and like paint the road so that it looks like you're, you can go further down. How cute. I, I even like it just like this. Like imagine I just hung that up. That's not bad. It's really simple. It's kind of zen. So is Brandon's. That's, that's especially why I like his because I feel like it's simple and it's cute and you can't go wrong with simple. Before I get to painting, there is this one tip I just wanted to show you guys because I feel like nobody has shown me this. I feel like I might have been the original person. <laughs> Everybody says that. Now I'm sure somebody else did this, but I never have like a water cup for painting. I don't have a designated cup for that because, well, there's limited room in here, so I have to work with what I got sometimes. And Brandon and I, do drink bottled water because he gets it for free at his work and so we just always cut the like top off and then use this as like our our brush water whatever you want to call it I don't know I think it's a really good idea and then you can just throw it away toss it out like if you wanted to go painting somewhere and you didn't want to take all your supplies just take an extra water bottle cut it up I don't know I thought that was unique so I'm gonna get to painting and we're gonna see how good this turns out
Never mind, I got paint on me. Happy accidents, and also, it's my painting, and I own it, and this is beautiful, and I can't wait for it to dry so I can hang it up. I did not get anything on my Wellness Club shirt, literally getting well right now, um, but I did get paint all over my hands. I did not use my injured hand, or I tried not to. Okay. Well, I guess the video wants me to end it. Out here with Sandy and whatever the fuck that noise is. That bird. <laughs> For Where's real. that big red bird up at the top? Where? Oh, I see him now. Do you guys see that red bird right there? That's cool. Whoa, <laughs> that doesn't even look real, like on my camera. Yeah, sure, go ahead, please. <laughs> There's Sandy. Oh my gosh, she's about to go to the anthill. Yeah, she is just the little cutest baby. She needs a bath. Yeah, her nose is covered in the dirt that she likes to sleep in. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I didn't mean to scare Sandy. you. Okay. Sandy, we feed you. We love you. Oh, Oh, you're saying hi to the kid. Oh, oh, <laughs> we looked into her soul that time. <laughs> there you go, Sandy. Don't go too far, okay? Goes too far he goes too far, literally. <laughs> oh, the AC's coming on, Snake Boy. It's gonna blow you away. <laughs> He's <laughs> gotta be all the way on the bed. <laughs> Come on, snake boy. <laughs> Sorry, snake boy. <laughs> He's really struggling right now. It's a workout. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> are you good, bro? Don't fall off again. Are you serious? God damn! <laughs> Why are you like this? He goes off so fast. He's like, I grab one. You got this, buddy. I can see him sliding. Yeah, me too. Slowly but surely, he's like sliding off. 
You gonna get back on? It's no idea. No, Snake Boy, you're gonna fall. <laughs> Gravity is not your friend. <laughs> He's happily going around you. He said, I can't go through you. <laughs> He's just going around, you know. <laughs> he is cute. I like his little pattern. Between the bed, probably. Oh, no. He's just trying to go find some shade. More light? I think it looks a little bit better. <sighs> Your girl just came from the doctors. I know. One day it's mental health, the next day I fall off my bike and injure myself terribly everywhere, shoulder, knee, and hand. And the next day it's just going to the doctor because I have an ear infection and a very swollen ear canal, which they prescribed me 875 milligrams of amoxicillin. That is a lot. Like, I am a small human being. Trust me. I'm only 5'1", and uh, I feel like the 875 is going to tear up my stomach. But that's okay, as long as my ear infection is gone. But um, with my ear infection, because I'm taking antibiotics, and I don't know if you guys know, but it you know takes away all the good and bad bacteria in you. You gotta make sure you refuel. I got these Ollie probiotic prebiotic gummies and they're peach flavored so they're probably just gonna taste like those peach rings and they were hell expensive $16 for 30 like oh my gosh it's a good thing I don't take those all the time but um I also got my blood drawn I'm dying left and right like I am I don't even know what's gonna happen next week I could just fall out of my car for all I know but we're uh keeping it together I'm doing great other than all of that that I just mentioned this whole bag right here full of medication and eardrops and more medication and medication on medication on medication was a hundred dollars <laughs> ah I'm proud to be an American that's all I'm gonna say every time something expensive because I can't <laughs> oh my god so, I was, you know, gonna take my antibiotics, you know, help my ear infection. When I tell you guys this is massive, let me show you what I mean. This is the size, look, it's like bigger than my teeth, of the medication, right? And you're probably like, ah, not, the, not that big, right? This is the size of the medication I take daily. Can you even see it? Like, that's a big difference. Hold on, these, these are my eardrops. These are the differences in the size of medication. Why? What the fuck? Like, seriously. How am I supposed to... Okay. Like, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna go with the flow.
the church that we went to was magnificent. It was beautiful. And it's actually not too far away from me. So if I ever want to take a nice stroll, they have a pathway to walk up that hill and to just walk around the church, need be. They have a little gift shop and a whole bunch of um, information about the stuff that he did for the people in Guatemala and the Guatemala people today and where they are and all the hardships they've faced. And I mean, his whole life is just displayed in this museum along with a whole bunch of stuff that he would have wanted dedicated to the Guatemalan people. And it's just inspiring, powerful. I um, can't even put it into words, like the experience that I had just looking at it, reading up on it, just being there with my mom because she was raised Catholic. I know it meant a lot to her, so I definitely wanted to go do that with her. And wow, it was just really quiet and serene, peaceful, calm, and I really enjoyed it. And also, ah, here's my surprise. Eee! Brandon and I are getting a third child. So we have our ball python named Snake Boy. Well, actually his real name is Pretzel, but we call him Snake Boy all the time. And we have Sandy, our sulcata tortoise, who is going to probably outlive me, which is okay. I try not to think of it because it gets me a little sad knowing she might miss me and Brandon. Reptiles are just the sweetest creatures, but da -da 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 -da, drum roll, we are getting a black cat. Ooh, it's so cute. And Brandon is really excited because he had a cat and he really, really, really loved that cat. And then we found a stray cat here that we thought was stray. I think it ended up um, passing away during a uh, below freezing storm that we had. Or it was just a visitor from another RV going in and out of this lot. So we're hoping, I'm hoping he's still alive and living his best life. But he was gray and white just like Brandon's cat that I passed. And we were planning on keeping him, taking him to the vet and all. But then we never saw him after the freeze that happened. So... We're wishing him well, but this cat that we are adopting is used to being in a garage and outside, so we'll see how well he does. He's about 10 years old, but before I get into it, you can just watch the video clip of me interacting with him because I have seen him a couple times. He's my mom's friend's cat, and she's also my friend, so. Aren't you a cutie? I know. You're a cutie, aren't you? Yeah, you are. You ain't got no little, little tail. No tail. Why are you so cute, Blackie? You just want me to keep petting you. You're so cute. Aren't you so cute? You want more? Go ahead and get her. You can add the other ones. bug. Are you trying to tear my leggings? Come here, Bucky. Bucky, come here. 